happened on YouTube. I feel like it's whenever like the artistas took over YouTube, everything became so highly produced and so commercial. And like, as much as I enjoy also putting out really just thought out, highly produced content, I miss the chill vibes of YouTube. Like just the whatever the f goes. So it's my first time going to Cebu. I've never been to Cebu, which is kind of crazy because I feel like everybody's been to Cebu except for me. It's like one of the first places that everyone kind of travels to. I've never been and I'm really... <sighs> my hair won't like fucking clap, but anyway. But I've never been and I'm really excited to go for the first time. We have like a workation. So this DJ group, this DJ collective, it's called ATN After The Noon, who's kind of like our DJ counterpart, I would say, because for all of the Good Yam parties, we go with ATN DJs. They're also under the same partner company that we work with to throw the parties. So one of the DJs there, host, or Rafi, he's doing his Cebu tour to like promote his song and play out a bunch. Wait, I'm dal dal go. Wait, let's let's pack and do this. I, it's a lot. Lahi ng maleta ko, pero four days lang ako. And it's quite busy because I am going. And it's quite busy because I am actually going straight from our Thursday party. We just launched this Brooklyn social party in Katipunan because we have the Makati parties every Wednesday in Poblacion. But we want to do something in the north also, so we're doing this every other Thursday. I'm going straight from that with Mike, straight to the flight, girl. So pray for me. But yeah, so we are gonna go on this like little Cebu trip where. ATN will be there, Host will be playing, pushing his songs, and I'm gonna start to talk to some of the Cebu clubs, hopefully that I'm gonna be able to work with them. We're really trying to bring Good Yang to Cebu, so it's kind of like a R&D work trip situation. But honestly, it's mostly just a reason for us to party, so I'm really excited about that. Dog! Mm. I'm just unpacking some of my... um panties I just that just came in I love them they have these little rings and they fit really well I have to keep buying so many panties because my panties always get lost in the wash or parang I feel like they end up with tally I don't know I don't know where they are going to go love these ribbed ones as well definitely bringing these love these ribbed ones love these cotton ones these are super like Thongy, but they fit really well and they're so so comfy. The mayong dalang panty, kala mo naman. For four days lang kami doon. This one's the normal one that I've posted. This is like the cotton version of the ring panties. This is the seamless version, but it's not super seamless because chempre may ring siya. And magbabakat yan under like really tight fitting clothes, but it's cute. Pang hook up po din na. Okay, so I'm bringing six panties. I think that's enough for four days. I think. Actually, no, let's make it. Oh no, let's make it seven. Seven is safe. Seven is safe. Okay, we're gonna go in with swimwear. I'm bringing everything that this one brand sent me just because I'm lazy and I don't wanna go through my bikini closet, which is terrible, by the way. Have a seat. Honestly, I really feel like I need a PA. Like, it's insane. I really need a PA. I have so many things, you guys, and it's actually insane because I have two rooms. One was supposed to be my bedroom. Sorry, we have a dog. One was supposed to be my bedroom, and then the other was supposed to be my office, and the office is now like a junkyard. And I can't even like go through any of my stuff. I can't find anything, and we have helpers at home, but it's different to say like pag PR packages and somebody that can like really get you and understand you, diba? Parang iba yung vibe if they like actually know the brands and stuff like that. So I feel like I need an overall PA. Oh my gosh, this bikini is so cute. Love. Look at this detail. This is from Eighth Mermaid. I'm gonna bring this set with me. Got one. I'm gonna like sort all of this later. This is not gonna be one of those like aesthetically pleasing, relaxing, satisfying packing videos. Not. I'm a messy bitch. We're we're getting through this together. Okay, we have the same pattern but in a different cut. This is a high waist one. Cute. I really love this, this texture. This like terry, bricky texture. We have a black one. I'm bringing that as well. Okay, now that I have my swimwear, I have my panties. I'm not gonna bring bras now because I honestly don't really wear bras. Like all of my tops lately have been like corset tops, really tight fitting tops na parang you don't really need a bra or sometimes I wear a bikini under but I'm I, I 
completely stop wearing bras late. Kind of weird because I have really big boobs that need support, but it's really about finding tops that lift you up, literally. Okay, we're gonna get into my skincare kit. I kind of pre-packed this already because I travel a lot, so I always have like a skincare travel kit na naka ready na. I reused this one from BLK, this pouch, because it's very convenient. I love it, by the way, when like brands use pouches or mga parang kaya mong gamitin pa ulit ulit and not just like regular packaging like a box that you're gonna throw away. So, I'm gonna bring this one. My skincare changes when I'm on trips because naka ready na. I don't like bringing what I have from my bathroom. Parang nakakatamad sis. Like, my god, I cannot. Okay, so, enzyme cleansing gel. As you guys can tell, bago pa lang siya. I literally just put this in the pouch like a week ago. And so, I barely touched this one. To so go into the cleanser, my toner. This one is like halfway done. Now this was what I was using in Barakay, kasi this is the Cetaphil Balancing Brightness Refresh Toner. You guys see, I'm like halfway through with that. This is the mini version of the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Love, love, love her. Um, this is so expensive. Nakakaloka. Then I go in with this one from Clinique. Grab it. It's like super gamit na. I love this one. It's the Moisture Surge. Um, great for oily skin. And it doesn't feel clammy or sticky, but still feels very hydrating. So I love that about her. Acne solution. Dark spots. I have a couple dark spots there that I'm working through. And so I'm gonna bring that. I always have a hair clamp in my skincare kit. Because I feel like I lose my hair clamps all the f*** up. So since I'm using that one, I'm just gonna replace the hair clamp in here. I also have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. This one I always only use like minty toothpaste. Like I literally can't if it's not minty. What the f is going on with that? Like don't you want to feel minty fresh? Oh, but I'm also gonna put in this is like body care though. I love bringing this around with me. This is the Snail White Glow and Jelly. Glow Jelly Mask and Scrub. It has pomegranate extract, AHAs, niacinamide. It just super like brightens up your skin. So I use this twice to thrice a week. Depends on the skin. AKA ganon ako katamad. But I love this because you can use it on your body and on your face as well. So you can incorporate it in your skincare routine. Um, if it's in my skincare routine, I go in with it after my cleanser before my toner. So I use this. Um, but also on my body, I really like smelling good and staying fresh throughout the day. What I do with this is before I even like shampoo and condition, I put it on and like I scrub my body and let it simmer and let it stick in my body. Then I go in with my shampoo, my conditioner. Then after I wash it off, I wash this off. So it stays on my body for like three to five minutes. It says to like leave it on for five minutes, but like three minutes, okay na ako. And it feels so, so smooth and so soft. Also really helps with the dark spots because it has niacinamide. So if you're like me na, I'm a clumsy bitch. Ang dami kong mga dark spots all over my body because I scar really bad. And this has helped me with that because it removes the dead skin cells. Basically like brings your skin back to life. You know what I mean? So love, love, love her. They have a bigger size, but the small one is 159 pesos, I think. And so convenient, especially when you're traveling because you don't want to bring like a big, big bottle. So, I'm just gonna throw her in as well. So, I'm going to body care ko sa skin care for some pouch. Also, have this one. This is what I use um, after I go in with the scrub, but it's so big. I have a smaller one, the 200 ml, I think is 155 pesos. But this one, I have to transfer it to a smaller container so I can fit it in here. But this one, it's like milk for your body, so hydrating. I usually go in with this after I go in with the scrub so that like you really get in there and you really, really cleanse. Because with the scrub, you get the dead skin cells. And then with this one, hydrate, we moisturize, we freshen up. It's literally like a milk bath for your body. And it smells really good too. Like it smells really clean, bright, and fresh. I don't really like overwhelming scents um, for my body. I just like smelling fresh. We have a kid in over here. This is Mrs. Seuss, by the way. <coughs> fucking, my fucking dog, Othello. Okay, so yeah, um, I'll just transfer this to a smaller container and shoot it in here. Now this is the hard part. Okay, we're getting to the hard part, deciding on the looks. I have some pouches I need to like fill up. This is, this is gonna be a tricky one because I have no fucking clue what the fuck I want to even wear. Whenever I pack for a trip though, I like going with, yes, ang dami. I like going with one specific palette and then a couple, like one to two looks na parang pops of color para it stands out. By the way, I love taking these from hotels. Yung mga vanity kits nila, it's so great, especially when you travel. 
like all of these little kits. Just throw them in your skincare kit. This luggage hasn't been emptied pa since I went to Barakay. Grab it. Okay, so this one, I love this for like smoothing out my baby hairs and shit. I'm gonna put that in my hair pouch. Actually, I should probably pack that first. Probably pack my hair products as well since I'm done with the skincare. Wait, I'll get my other product. Okay, so for my hair care kit or like my getting ready, whatever. Hair care kit. It's this pouch. I have it all in here. I have a mini brush, like a mini wet brush. I'm like brush my hair. Duh. For some bobo. For some bobo means it. Sometimes I I listen to myself. Ang bobo ko. Like sometimes I say the most bobo. I'm like damn, did I really say that? Anywho, um, and then I bring this to like lay down my baby hairs, especially when I do like a really really clean look. I have this gel. Cheap lang to. I think this is like 5 pesos. I just get it in the tindahan, like the Sari Sari store in my village. But I also, I bring the serum. You guys already know how much I am obsessed with her. This is the Kerastase Genesis Serum. I've been using this for quite a bit. This is my third bottle already. And this is great, especially if you have major hair fall. If you're going through a major hair fall situation, aka me. Like, I know my hair looks really healthy, but it's because I've been using this for years. As in, ever since I went blonde, 2019. This has just been in rotation and lately I've been so stressed out because there's so much going on. Your hair literally falls out when you're stressed out. Did you guys know this? Like, you'll feel the hair falling out. I don't know. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> so, um, this really helps with it. It really fortifies not just the roots but also like the rest of your hair. So, how I go in with it is... You're supposed to use four of these a day. Um, but honestly, even just two, that's okay na because I'm broke. And um, I put them like that in my roots. And then like you make it like that, like that. And then you look here. You kind of like section it, but I don't like super, super duper section it seriously. I just like do whatever. that it really feels nice as well on the roots like it feels so refreshing and it's not oily so you can wear this out but I personally like to put it on at the end of my days so that like when I'm sleeping it really seeps in and then not sweating and parang I don't want to make sayang the product but if you want to wear it out you can and that's what I love about it the main thing is that it has aminaxil and ginger root extract that's why it really like fortifies your hair and I know it's expensive it is an investment for sure pero girl I don't want to be in my Britney 2007 era I mean I know I'm going through it she's single she's not really thriving she's going through it but at least we can be like sad and hot right I don't want to be like sad and bald I don't want to pack my makeup kit yet because I still have to use my makeup today and tomorrow. So I'll probably just pack that on my own tomorrow, like right before I leave. Okay, let's kind of try to figure out the looks. Okay, so one of the looks I wanted to do for sure, yes, sikip na sikip, is this white bodysuit from Maria and Mary. You guys have seen me wear this so much. It fits me like a glove. I wear it extra small because normally I'm a size small. But I want to like cinch myself even more, like cinch my waist. So I go in with extra small of this. And then I love these pants forever. These like cream colored pants. I feel like that's just a look. It's this bodysuit. And then we can even layer for that extra moment. And then just keep this open. You guys see it happening? You guys see it? You guys envision the bodysuit situation. I'm not going to try it on the... Uh, you're just trying to pack. Your girl is leaving tomorrow, so. It's harder to pack also when you have no itinerary. And I have, I thought about it, but I realized that I'm mostly gonna be partying every night. Three nights in a row. But during the daytime, I have no idea what's going on. So I'm bringing, for there for four days, I have to bring ten looks. <laughs> because you got four night looks, four daytime looks and then two extra looks and then all of them kind of have to be like you know the same color combo that just in case you can mix and match right like you don't want to get fucked up and you're like oh it's also really important to pack things that you can use in multiple ways so like my swimsuits this 
black one piece you can use as a top, the ba, and then with jeans. Okay, I'm kind of torn which pants to bring. These are both. Yeah, these are both from H and M. Do we bring checkered, or do we bring floral? Comment down below. Yes, comment down below. Kalimu naman. I feel like oh no, because I'm already wearing these checkered pants. I should probably bring the florals. What are we What are we gonna do about the weather? White corset always. I always bring just a plain white corset because it's easy to match with everything. Definitely bringing this. It's a white mini skirt with this thick, chunky belt. I love, love, love this. Oh my gosh! Also in Cebu, I'm gonna go on a date there, and like he told me, he's gonna take me to somewhere nice, and like. I don't know how nice it's gonna be, so I have to like bring a dress for sure. But like I don't know how dressed up, right? So this is it giving casal? It's giving like what if it's like a fine dining place, you know? And then now I have to think about the fucking heels and the shoes to bring. But like this Zara dress, I feel like this silk Zara dress is just so chic. But yeah, you guys, like I've been going on dates lately, which is kind of crazy because. I was never the type to go on dates. Like I, I didn't go on dates a lot. I would hook up with people back then a lot, but not like on dates. And then lately, people have been asking me out on dates, and it's so nerve-wracking. Like I went on this date. Like I went on a movie date with somebody recently, and like he asked me if I was cold, and then I was just like, no, hoes never get cold. It's so hard dating in this day and age. And also, I'm not the type to go on like Bumble or Tinder or Grindr. Grindr talaga! Honestly, not really looking to date now that I'm single. Like, it's like whatever. I'm kind of in a very like whatever comes may come. If I come, <laughs> um, whatever happens, happens. And like, I'm just so open, but I am prioritizing being single right now because before my six. Because before my six-year relationship with Annika, I was in a three-year relationship with another girl. So basically nine years of my life, I've been stuck in relationships. And I know like with Annika, we were like on and off a lot. But for the most part, we were together, right? So I'm just kind of prioritizing being single, but also having fun with my life. And like, I'm doing a lot of things for the plot. If I'm being honest, I'm doing a lot of shit for the plot because it's fun. Like that, like going on a date with a guy. I've never done that. I've never been on a movie date with a guy. I went on a dinner date with a guy recently too. Like I've never done that. And he took me to like a really nice hotel and like all of this shit. Um, dressing up for dates has been kind of fun. Like all of these things actually have been really fun experiences and very insightful. And I feel like I'm learning more about myself because these are experiences that I never would have had if I was still in a relationship. And I've been learning a lot about myself in the way that like, I see like, oh, so this is how I would react or this is what I like, what I don't like. So being single has been fun. Like I'm I'm living. Okay, we're gonna bring this tripod because I'm probably gonna make TikToks with Mike while we're there. And this one my favorite, like very, very secure tripod. Yes, you can change on topic from dates to tripod. So I definitely wanna bring this top. This is like one of the older good gang clothes that we used to carry. I'm going for like a white black nude palette, I think, and some denim. It's like very, very clean, very basic. What the fuck is this? Like, how does this even. Mmm. With a black bikini. Okay, honestly, I'm not gonna finish packing if I keep talking to you guys. So I'm gonna go finish packing. Maybe I'll give like a packing update in the next vlog because I am filming the Cebu trip. So. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for chilling with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Kill a push out.